Hello. Uh, obtaining your uh, Google Cloud Messaging API key is actually uh, pretty simple to do. Um, to do so, um, uh, you'll get a start here on Add an App from the Results Dashboard. So click on uh, Android for the operating system. Um, here's just a button that says Get a Google Cloud Messaging API Key. Click on this. Um, that'll open up this new window. Um, the first thing you need to do is create a project. Um, you can call it anything. It'll take a few minutes uh, for Google, not probably not a few minutes, but a few seconds for Google to create this. Um, so just wait for that to be created. And um, in case you need some walkthrough steps, um, here they are listed here. Um, there's quite a few, but like I said, it's normal. It's just to make sure that you know you have all the directions in case uh, this is new for you. Okay, so it looks like it is created. Uh, the first thing we need to do is enable an API. So click on this. Okay, so scroll down and look for Google Cloud Messaging for Android. Um, it's turned off currently, but toggle this button, button, so click on here. Enabling. Okay, and um, one thing I, I want to back up, I didn't show you up above. If you go to Overview, um, later on you're going to need this project number. Um, so make sure that you copy down this number here and um, either save it, um, write it down, or save it in your notepad because um, you'll need it later on. Uh, but the next thing we need to do is go to Credentials, and that's um, located under here. Um, under Public API Access, click Create New Key. Um, now you'll want to choose uh, Server Key. Um, do not put anything in here, just click on Create. Okay, so now we have our API key. So copy that, the whole thing. Go back here and paste in your API key. And uh, yeah, that's how you get it. If you need any help at all, please feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email. Uh, my email is sam at results.com. Thank you.